Uh, we have a repeat finding on under the treasurer. A fixed asset listing was established but not updated by removing deletions from the previous years as required by code. And Mr. Thomas is here to address this. My name is uh, Woody Thomas. And Mr. Sure. Thomas, you may proceed. Uh, we, I'm usually accused of being over prepared and, and uh, don't follow through in my delivery. So uh, we hope for better results today. I have three sheets of, uh, that have been recently implemented that have uh, titles such as concession, shift change. I'm answering the possibly the second question, the one about the swimming pool. The one, the one about the fixed assets? Oh, I, that one, that one's pretty much an annual mystery with us. Um, I think part of it's timing, but my answer to that is uh, it will be in balance. Uh, we're, we're not subject to capitalization requirements, so everything runs through the uh, ledger as an expense. Uh, when we do have a major sale, a vehicle trade-in, for example, that's that's quite easy to, to uh, it's hard to disguise those uh, transactions. Uh, let, me, let me give you a little background of doing this, as you might determine from my uh, countenance over 30 years. Uh, we have very infrequently not had this comment, and it is more or less a mystery to me. I really think it's timing. I do, I have very extensive fixed asset lists, and I can look at prior reports and determine that this Excel list is in balance with those reports. So uh, absent better explanation, such as timing, uh, the police chief is in charge of most of the uh, most of the uh, inventory, if you will. And again, we have items going back to 1983. Well, no, I took that back to the category 20 plus years. Uh, maybe going back to the incorporation of the village in 1943. So my answer to that is, uh, in conclusion, this. This is probably one of the most easily remedied uh, exceptions <laughs> that y'all deal with. So, uh, when the 2016 audit is done, or a uh, AUP, if you will, period of one procedure, the, uh, the detail list will equal another list. Again, there's no ledger uh, replication here because we don't capitalize and appreciate. So in, 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 in simple terms that I can understand, you've got a list of every piece of equipment on inventory? Yes, sir. Okay. And what amount, remind me, uh, do you have to, there's a certain amount you have to itemize something on your inventory, is that? Oh, we, let's see, here's $160, here's $91. So we, yeah, it's to, up to my judgment. Uh, Vehicles are not, not a, I don't have a specific item, let's say $100. Uh, the, 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 again, I'm over explaining. I'm an old country boy. You got to put that pretty simple for me. Well, and, and, but I mean, you got a, you got an inventory list, correct? Yes, sir. How many items on that list? The ball, ballpark, you don't have to tell me exactly. Just, <laughs> 320. 320, okay. We have parks. I mean, that's that's why this is a mystery to me almost every year. Uh, and if we haven't had this comment in just two years. I'll, I'll volunteer that we've probably had it four out of five years. What is he? Sir, the, the code says that you need to have a capitalization policy, which would say that everything over X number of dollars with X number of years useful life would be on your list. That would probably help you in, in keeping the list um, so that you wouldn't have a bunch of small things on there that, that tend to get lost in the shuffle. If you had like say $1,000 with a useful life of five years or $500 with a useful life of 
two years, whatever the council would decide. That that's appropriate. We basically capitalize everything will last beyond a year. So in a sense, we have some some prehistoric gap approaches. Uh, my my side job is CFO for an accounting firm. Uh, so so all this conceptually is is something that there's no excuse for us not adopting. So uh, that's a good point. We'll just have a. $100 or uh, whatever the council chooses. Of course, I'm, I'm not sure about rules procedures, especially in this area, but I think you can get the stuff you can't find at some point, you can get a list and get it written off by going through the proper procedure. And the only thing you need stuff on your list is worth $100 or $110 or $150 or $500. But it's according to a certain item you can and cannot capitalize. And uh, it really, you're an accountant, not what, but uh, you might want to sit down with your auditor and ask them about removing, I think the finding says removing deletions. You have to delete things over the past years. Yes, sir. I yes, think sir. you need to find out if you can have a listing of all those items that you can find and go through the process. And there is a process, I understand that correct? that you can get those deleted, start fresh one time, and then then on, it's just me and you. I'm with that. Okay, any other questions? Mr. Meeks, I'm sorry. 